What's up guys, DV Apps here. Today I'll be showing you guys how to make a thumbnail for free using Pixlr. Pixlr is a great tool which allows you to make graphics online and it's exactly like Photoshop, just a simpler version and it's also free. So firstly just open up your browser and go to pixlr.com. Now from there just scroll down and then go to Pixlr editor and then click on launch web app. Now if it comes up with this just click on get flash player, then click on leave and then allow. Now from here just click on create new image and then give it a name if you want so I'll just call this thumbnail and then for the size make it 1280 by 720 and then click on ok. Now the first thing you'll need is a background, radiant or grunge backgrounds on YouTube. If you want you can use them so radiant is something that looks like this. What I'm going to go for is a plexus background, that stuff that looks like this. So I actually really like this one. So what I'm going to do is just save it and I'll just save it to my desktop. Now I'll go back into Pixlr then click on file and then open image. Then just open that image and then it'll come up in another window. So just click on Control and A and then Control and X. Now go back into the thumbnail window and then Control and V to paste it. So you have that as a background. Now the next thing you need is text. So just go over to the text tool which is this A over here and then you can click anywhere and then just enter the text you want. So I'll just write make thumbnails for free and then select everything and then you can change your font. So I'll just go with older the patch. Now we'll have your system font so if you have like a cool font installed you can also use that. And I'll just make this a bit bigger and I'll also change the color to just change it to a white. So there you go, you have your text there. Now you can add some effects to it. So just right click on the text layer, then go down to layer styles. And then from there you can add a drop shadow. I'll make the distance zero and the size bigger. And then I'll also add an outer glow. I'll make it, let's just make it black. And then you can change the size of it. I think that looks pretty good. Now as you can see, it's pretty small. So if I wanna make it bigger, just go to edit then free transform now I can just drag it and then it will transform so make sure you hold shift so it'll keep it in proportion and then you can just make it bigger and I think it looks all right there so just click anyway and then click on yes now you can add an image so I'll just add an image of Pixlr I'll just get the icon so again same thing save image as save it to your desktop or anywhere then click on file open image and then open it up and then just click on Control A to select it and then Control X. Now go back into the main window and then click on Control V. Now again if you want to resize it just go to edit then go down to free transform and then hold shift and make it smaller. And I think I'll just add more text here because it's pretty empty. So I'll do make thumbnails for free with Pixlr. And also another thing I forgot to mention was Make sure that the layer is rasterized before you click on free transform. So just go to the text layer, right click and then rasterize layer. And then now you can go to edit and free transform. And as you can see it comes up. So if it's not rasterized it won't come up with the controls. And I'll also add some effects to this layer over here. I'll add a drop shadow and also an outer glow. And I'll just make this black. And there you go, it's all done. Now just go to file, save, and then you can save it to your desktop. That's all for this video. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Let's see if we can hit seven likes in this video. Thanks for watching. Until next time, peace.